Hey Feather Fam, and welcome back to Live Laugh Birds, where we live and laugh with birds that have flown away. So today I'm going to be reacting to some Craigslist ads. And if you don't know what Craigslist is, Craigslist is basically a site where people can list things for sale, and a lot of people use it to rehome their pets, including birds. A lot of these parrots on Craigslist are in pretty bad conditions because the people didn't know what they were getting into before they got them. If you don't have a bird rescue near you but you still want to adopt a parrot, then going to Craigslist can be a great way to find birds that need homes. And unfortunately, a lot of the birds you'll see on Craigslist are small parrots such as budgies especially because budgies are so cheap, they're so easily impulse bought, and a lot of people just get them and then can't take care of them. So now I'm gonna go ahead and search Craigslist and look for some bird ads. So the first one here says cockatiel for sale, $150. It says they have 12 cockatiels. I'm guessing this is probably a breeder. That cockatiel is adorable hanging upside down. It's really rare to see a cockatiel that does that. So it looks like all of these cockatiels are in one cage and it looks really crowded in there, even though the cage is a pretty good size, but you can't have 12 cockatiels in that size cage. And it looks like there's only two dowel perches in the cage. Dowel perches are really not good for bird's feet. And to me, it looks like, I can't see the entire cage, but it looks like there's only these plastic balls and that disco ball as toys, and there are no shredding toys in this cage. Oh my god, these poor cockatiels. It looks like that water is literally green. Like, I don't think they've changed that water. It looks like there's bacteria growing in there. That is just disgusting. Here you can see that one of the cockatiels is clearly a feather plucker. There's a really disgusting looking nest box at the bottom of the cage. I have no idea if they're using it or not, but look at the bottom of that cage. That is absolutely filthy. It looks like they have not cleaned that cage in forever. Now you can see at the bottom of the cage, there's this kind of bowl or pot, and I really hope that's not a food bowl because you can see it's literally covered in poop. That is disgusting. There are 12 cockatiels living in this filthy small cage. So next we have an ad for a cage and it says bird cage complete. Um, if you can look at this cage, it is absolutely way too small for any type of bird and it literally comes with no good supplies. The only thing it comes with are these two plastic perches, plastic food bowls, and no toys. So it is nowhere near complete. So if you don't know, plastic perches are terrible for your bird's feet, even worse than dowel perches because they're completely smooth and slippery and they have no grip to them. And birds can get arthritis, sores, bumblefoot infections. It says, bird cage complete, will fit parakeet, canary, or finch. Um, yes, that is true that a parakeet, canary, or finch could fit physically in that cage, but I could fit in a closet. Does that mean I want to live in a closet? No. It says that the dimensions are 17.5 inches tall, 13.5 inches wide, and 10 inches deep. Now the only purpose for this cage that you could use it for is a travel cage. This should never be any bird's cage. The only thing good about this ad is that there's no bird in that cage. So the next one just says bird. Just bird. That's all you need in life. Bird. I have five bird for sale. Cocktail, $140 each. They're clearly cockatiels. From what I see, I don't really see the size of the cage, but it looks like they're all kind of crowded in one corner and they're all sitting on a dowel perch. They also have this plastic water tube instead of a bowl, which those grow a lot of bacteria. Small bird cage for $15. Cage in good condition, good for small birds like parakeets and finches. No, this cage is not good for any bird. Beautiful parakeets starting at $20. Now, as you can see here, there are tons and tons of birds crowded into this one tiny cage. And this is what I mean by budgies being viewed as disposable a lot of times. They're very cheap, they're very easy to breed, so people breed them in mass quantities and sell them for cheap prices. 
and they're only sitting on this one dowel perch. I don't even know if there's multiple perches in this cage because it looks like this cage is so crowded that a lot of these birds are just hanging onto the side because they don't even have room on the perch. This is a very sad situation and no bird should have to live like this. So the next one here is a Quaker parrot and I absolutely love Quakers. Now, I don't see the entire cage, but this cage looks really, really small from what I see. And again, there's only one dowel perch. It looks like this is a trend here. There are so many dowel perches here. There are no visible toys in this cage and the food bowl right on the bottom of the cage looks like it's filled with only seeds. It also looks like mixed into those seeds, maybe there's like some colored pellets, but I can't really tell. Both of those are really bad for your bird. You should not be feeding your bird a seed diet and you shouldn't be feeding your bird colored fruit pellets because those are so high in sugar. Seeds are extremely high in fat and can cause fatty liver disease. Now, if you look at the description, this is something that took me a while to notice, but right at the bottom here, it says, possible trade for other bird. Now, why are you giving up your bird if you're going to trade it for another bird? That is just treating them like disposable objects, like you're trading Pokemon cards. Like you shouldn't be trading your birds. If you can't take good care of your bird and you're needing to rehome them, why would you ever get another one? Teamed cocktails and lovebirds for sale for $100. I am not of legal drinking age. Stop trying to sell me cocktails. What's with the cocktails? They're duckies. Now I can't see the cages, but it looks like all of these birds have really severe wing clips. On this one cockatiel, it looks like one wing is a lot shorter than the other, and it looks like they cut through the secondary flight feathers. Now I'm against wing clipping in general, but if you're gonna clip your bird's wings, it's really not good to have one wing longer than the other because birds need their feathers to be symmetrical in order for them to be able to balance. When one wing is shorter than the other, when they actually jump off of a high surface and attempt to fly, they're going to spiral to the ground and fall really heavily and crash and they can severely injure themselves. This is a really dangerous wing clip, especially when the feathers are so short. So next we have an adorable English budgie and a kakariki. Now, kakarikis are so adorable and I love that these birds are at least tame and they come out of the cage, but look at this wing clip again. This kakariki has a really bad wing clip. It looks like what they did was they left a few of the primary flight feathers, but then they cut all the way down the wing and they clipped all the secondary flight feathers, which you should never do. Now here you can see the cage and again, it looks like a really small cage and I can't see a single toy in here. It is so important for birds to have toys to keep them occupied. You can't be expected to just live in a room with nothing to do. Like you just go crazy. And the only perch I see is this one white perch and it looks like either a sand perch or a plastic perch. I can't really tell which, but both of those are not good for your bird's feet. Sand perches irritate the bottom of your bird's feet because you're basically having your bird walk on sandpaper, which is really irritating and abrasive. These birds are absolutely adorable and they look like they're bonded, so I just really hope they go to a good home. Next one here is an ad for a medium bird cage. Guys, this is not medium. This is a small round cage that should never be used for any bird. Round cages are just one of the worst. They really provide no horizontal space and they also don't have any corners for your bird to hide and feel secure in if they ever get scared. Aside from the size of this cage and the fact that it's a round cage, it comes with a mirror and two dowel perches and it looks like there's like one toy. Mirrors are not good for birds. They cause hormonal behaviors. Birds get really frustrated if they get obsessed with a the mirror. They think the bird in the reflection is their mate, so you really should avoid mirrors. And dowel perches are again really bad for your bird's feet. Two young parakeets just bought two weeks ago? They literally just got these birds and then they have to give them up after two weeks. That is total impulse buying, like stop. And this happens so much with budgies because they're so cheap and it's so easy to just buy them at the pet store because you saw them and you have no idea what a bird actually needs. And here again, we have the exact same thing. It says selling two parakeet together with a cage, got them a month ago. And of course it's a small cage. It only has dowel perches and it looks like there's a bowl full of seed. This one says trade birds. I would like to trade my female princess of Wales parrot for a white bellied kaik. 
and then they show a picture that they got off from Google. Hey, just a suggestion here, I highly suggest Pokemon cards, you know? Not like uh, living animals, you know? Hey Kermit, I think that you're just not good enough for me anymore and I would really like a macaw, so bye. Yeah, sorry guys, Kermit is gone. I'm just uh, waiting for my macaw now. Two parakeets in cage for sale, male and female, only $40. I swear, this is like the same cage as like the ad where they were just selling that small blue cage, but like that cage didn't even have any birds in it. This one has two birds in it, and it has like one perch instead of two perches. There's literally not even a second perch in there, and it's a plastic one, and there's no toys, of course, because this cage would not even fit a single toy. Cage comes with a stick and a food and water container. Ugh. All right, so this is going to be the last Craigslist ad I'm going to react to. This one is for a Quaker parrot for $600, and this one is really not too bad. This is an adorable, adorable Quaker. So floofy, just like, I love them. And you can see the cage here. The cage is actually a really, really good size for a Quaker parrot, but you can see this setup isn't too good. If you look at the bottom of this cage, there is only one dowel perch. And that just seems like such a trend among these Craigslist cages because I literally haven't seen one of these cages with a natural wood perch inside of it. The only perch in this cage is near the bottom of the cage and most birds spend the majority of their time in the top half of their cage. And this is because birds in the wild spend most of their time in trees because they feel safe and secure from predators. And this bird really doesn't even have an option to spend time near the top of the cage because there aren't any perches up there. And the only two toys in this cage are cotton rope toys. Now cotton rope toys are not good for your bird because your bird can swallow those cotton rope fibers and this can cause a crop impaction. And obviously there's no shredding toys in this cage which are completely necessary for your bird. What's good about this though is that they are giving away the bird for $600 which means someone is going to be more carefully considering whether or not to spend $600 on this bird. So that means they're more likely to do the research and more likely to actually look into what they're doing. Something I need to mention about birds on Craigslist, never buy a bird from someone who appears to be a breeder selling their baby birds on Craigslist. A breeder selling their bird on Craigslist is really not gonna be a good breeder because they clearly don't care where the bird is going. Now you might think that getting a bird from a bad breeder is saving them because they were not in good care and they were not in a good situation, but that's not true because if you're getting a bird from a breeder, you're giving them money to keep breeding more birds. So getting a bird from a bad breeder on Craigslist is basically saying that you support them. So what you wanna do if you're getting a bird on Craigslist is to look for birds that are being rehomed. I just hope this video helped spread awareness about how many people need to rehome their birds because they didn't know what they were getting into. And you can see all of these birds are in pretty bad conditions. All right guys, that is it for this video on Craigslist ads. I know that you guys want me to react to your cages and I will do a part four to the cage reactions. Just give me time because I wanna space out my content. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.